In this box are two handbags from Coach. They're actually from the Coach outlet. I bought them because of the color they are and a couple other reasons. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them or not. So let's look at them and y'all can help me decide. Or I might have already decided, who knows. <laughs> YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. In this box, like I said, I have two handbags from the Coach Outlet. They were both $82 each, and I bought them in large part because of the color that they are. I was also interested in the styles of the two bags. So we shall see here. Let's see what I got. Like I said, I'm not sure if I want to keep them or not. It's a little difficult doing all this online shopping during quarantine because there are some things you just have to see in person like this. And you know, I hate buying things and returning them. It's not something that I make a habit out of doing, but it's sort of the only option right now if you don't like something or if you want to check something out before you make a decision about it you have to buy it and have it shipped to you the receipt and the return label are there here's the first bag and actually i want to look at that one second here is the other one a bit larger okay, i'm going to get the plastic off this and show you here it is it got a little bit squished in shipping but i think that would even out this is the gallery tote and I'm not going to completely unbox it because I'm not sure if I'm keeping it. So let me just move the plastic over to the side or at least move it over some so you guys can see the handles. And the tag here says that it was originally $328, but like I said, I got it on the outlet for $82. And I'm not going to take the plastic off the zipper pulls and stuff unless I decide that I want to keep it. But let me give you a little 360 view here. It's just a basic tote. It's got squished. I don't like that it got so squished in shipping. That's careless of them. But it's a zipped tote. Other than the Ted Baker bag that I got recently that has a zipper on it, this would be my only other zipped tote. So there's the zipper just to prove my point. Besides the color, did I mention that? Which is called Canteen. I don't know how well it's gonna come across. It's like an army green and it's darker than I thought it would be. Like a khaki. Let me show you something to give you a little perspective on the color, hold on. All right, I pulled my Kelly bag, Kelly inspired Kelly dupe that is in a green color. This one is from Anafeel, but Handbag Crave carries this too. So I will link that one below. And just so you see those two greens side by side, you can see how dark the canteen color is from Coach and that it's more of a dark brown green and not a really obvious green. That makes sense? I'm an artist. I should be able to explain the color better. It's kind of like the outside of an avocado that's getting dark, kind of that color. The reason I wanted to try this particular style is because it looks to me to be a dupe for the Louis Vuitton Ayana bag. Pretty identical. It has the zipper on the front, it has the straps that have the little hardware where the straps can fall down and fall flat on the front and back of the bag. It has the little hardware right there, just like the Iana. It's the same shape. It has the zipper like the Iana. It has a little leather tab here that you can't really see because it has the plastic on it, uh, just like the Iana. And I've never been interested in the Iana really, mostly because I don't want to pay Louis Vuitton prices for that. I tend to be more interested in open top totes rather than zip totes, but I also figure it's a good idea to have a zip tote or two in my collection for days when the weather's bad and it's raining and I want to zip it up or just for extra security. They do have it stuffed with some paper, so I'll take that out so we can see the inside. All right, here is the inside of the tote. On the back wall, there's a big zipped pocket. There's a fabric interior and the interior is the same color as the outside of the bag. I like that about it. So there's the big open, um, well, like open because I unzipped it, zip pocket on the back wall. And the front wall has two slit pockets there. And otherwise it's just a big open, 
compartment. And I like the Coach logo there that's in the middle, so it's not just stamped on. I don't usually buy Coach pieces when it's just stamped on because it looks cheap to me. And there is the bottom of the bag, no feet. I want to call it a cross grain leather, but it's not really cross grain. You can see the texture there. It's not pebbled. It's somewhere in between that. And then the zip pocket on the front, which they also have some paper in, that goes down to the bottom of the bag there. It is nice to have a zip pocket on the outside so you can have the top zipper closed and then have this available for easy reach of your phone. It's nice. I think I need to get out from my lights here because it's hard for me to see things in front of those lights with them in my face and check out the bag more to figure out if I want to keep it or not. For $82, it's hard to pass up, right? And this color doesn't come around very much. They had another bag in this color that I was planning to buy and it sold out before I could buy it. I'm actually more excited about this one than I am the tote. So I might, if I like this one, I might keep this one and send the tote back. I might keep both, who knows? I have no idea. I might send both back, who knows? It is all up in the air right now. Here is the second bag, which is attached. It's taped together. This thing to keep the handle straight is also taped to it, so I'll just leave that on for right now. This is the Coach Prairie Satchel, and it's also in the Canteen Green. Just looking at this on my monitor, this is weird how they've got, you see that opening there that's cut out of the leather? That's odd. I don't know if I like that. It's very thin, look at that. It's, let me measure it, three and a half inches wide. This tote is quite a, or the satchel, it's quite a bit smaller than I was thinking it would be. I like the look of it online because it kind of reminds me of the Vuitton Turin bag that I have, and I thought it could serve a similar function and be more weatherproof, and I like how that bag sits on me and I wear it crossbody or on my shoulder and it kind of conforms to my body and like wraps around me on my hip. So I thought this might be a similar bag. This leather is different from the tote. It's a pebbled leather, it's very soft. I like this a lot better, the leather, than on the tote, which felt more like Safiano. All right, so Prairie Satchel. Let's give you a an overview, a 360 of this. Look how thin it is. I was definitely not expecting it to look that way. The tag says it was MSRP at $328, but again, I got it for 82, and it has these little rings, so there's a shoulder strap somewhere inside, and let's unzip it and see. It's a little hard to get in there with that on there. Here's the strap, and let me just pull this up a little bit. Again, I'm not going to take all those styrofoam off just yet. There's a peek of the strap there give you a sense of what it looks like and I'm sure that's a crossbody strap. This one is wrapped up where I can't see a lot of the details on it without removing some of this. I wanted to look at the straps here. I'm just going to remove the styrofoam from one of the strap bases so I can actually see it and show you. So that's what the hardware looks like there where the strap is attached which is pretty unique and that means that the strap can fall. Oh good that came apart. Um, means the strap can fall flat like that. Inside the bag is the big open space. Looks like there are no pockets on the front down there. And on the back, you've got that one zippered pocket and the coach tag. And there's the inside of the zippered pocket. I have to say this bag is not making me as happy as I thought it would. Oh no, there, there's just not much to it. It looks like an outlet bag to me. I'd like some more shape, some more detail. I do really like the leather. The leather's very nice. I'd like it to be wider. I didn't realize it was anywhere near that thin. I'm not sure about it right now. They're the two leathers together so you can see them side by side and see the difference between them. And those are the two coach bags I got. What do you think? If you had to pick one of them, which one would you pick for yourself? Or would you send both back? Or would you keep both? I'm not sure yet. I think at the moment I'm leaning toward the tote, but I don't know. And like I said, the color is darker and more brown than I was expecting, but I do still like it. It's still falls within the range of greens that I like. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll keep you updated on what I decided about these. Quick update on these bags. I did decide to keep the tote, but not the satchel. The satchel was just too narrow for me and it wasn't exactly the bag I had in my head when I ordered it. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to ship the satchel back or if I'll just donate it to the Houston Area Women's Center. But I do really like the tote, so that will be staying with me. I hope you're doing 
doing well and your family and friends are doing well and I will see you back here next time. Have a fantastic day. Bye.